We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Thank you. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to walk through a haircut, and then I'm going to have some mannequins here in a moment. They're going to be coming up, and I'm going to show you some cool little tricks. You up for that? Are you up for that? All right, here we got a haircut that I'm going to share with you. It's called the Bardo. Now, it's, there's a slight throwback to the 1960s. That's what this haircut's all about. But everybody wants volume in the crown area. Here's a cool way, easy way, to create the volume. So I'm going to let my beautiful, beautiful lady here feel this hair. Feel how thick that hair is. That's a thick ponytail, isn't it? Look at that. Look how thick that is. All right, now watch when we're done. I'm going to take the weight out, but do it in a real type of integrity, with integrity. The Bardo, you're going to be able to purchase the Bardo. You can buy it today at the booth, but you're going to be able to go to BTC and get it at BTC. Because after this, BTC has exclusive rights to the Bardo. So make sure you check it out at BTC.com. All right, here we go now. Stay with me. We're going to take a horizontal section that goes from top of the ear to the top of the ear. So we take a look at the ear, a horizontal round section. You're going to isolate this section up on the top. So we take this, and we're going to get rid of all of this. Isolate this on the top. So this gets isolated. Up, that goes away. We come over the opposite side. We're going to do the same thing. Here's the, this is Lucy. Lucy I cut yesterday. Give Lucy a big round of applause. Come on, BTC. Give Lucy. So now once we're here, we're going to take all of this up, up. This season, if you come over to the record booth, you'll see Chris Barron and I, we're compressing a lot of sections this season. So we're going to come through, underneath, underneath. I'll give you a profile view of the degree of elevation. So I'm going to take it up, and I'm going to go just up to above, just at the crown area, just below that. Come through, and we're going to cut a horizontal line right across. Now think inside, outside. So you layer the inside first. First, and then we're going to come back and correct and cut the perimeter edge. Think inside, and then think outside. When we really watch when I come through, look at the edge. Looks like I cut that with a razor, and it's all one blunt cut. Stay with me and I'll give you some hot tips. Okay, so we take this, comb the hair the direction you're going to slice it. So we take it, we comb the direction we're going to slice. Look how easy the comb went through all of that hair. Rather than fighting through with it and combing it straight down vertically. So we come through, horizontal, all the way around. Come through and check your horseshoe. Check the balance of your horseshoe, making sure that it's equal balance. Three steps in this haircut that are going to detach. So think of it as satin, as jeans, satin, and lace that I'm working with. Okay? Step two, we have our horseshoe section. Okay? Once we have that horseshoe section, now we're going to come through and we're going to divide that into four separate areas. How many areas? Come on, guys. How many areas? All right, good. Here's why. I want you to remember what I'm telling you because at the end of this program, I got three DVDs I'm going to give away. But you got to be able to answer the questions that I ask. Okay? So if you answer the questions, you'll get the DVD for free. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't know, Carl. What do you think? Are they ready? Black combs for blonde hair, white combs for dark hair. So you can see the extension of the line. Watch what I mean. Look how I can take it, move it to the extension of the line. So all I did was comb horizontally, turn it to a vertical. So I over direct, elevate at the same time. Let me do it again for you. So we're here, up, comb up. Look how I comb up. Set your elevation up. Now my elevation is set. Once I'm here, look at step two. Step one's dropping out. Disconnection starting already. Here, up, here comes my hand, clamp. So I clamp that section and I move it right to a vertical position. Right here, comb through and just cut the darn thing. That's right, Carl. Just cut the darn thing. Stop worrying about it, guys. Okay, so just work right through. Now watch when I release this. When I release this, that's going to move and give me a shape, a silhouette that starts to do this, but starts to move into the length. So I'm getting all of that link automatically. Do not worry about the ends, those points. We're going to get those points last. Say yes if you're with me so far. Okay, good. All right, let's move now. Now, you're probably wondering, how are we going to cut the 
opposite side. Very simple. Come in, take an edge. That's my guide there. We take another section, Carl, on the left side. We bring this together. We're going to marry these two together, not divorce the two. We're going to marry the two together, okay? So we come through, slide. There's my guide there. So now I have my guide, and that's my guide. Now all I got to do is connect the dots, okay? Bring it underneath, up, underneath, up, underneath. Now I'm ready to cut. Comb goes in, hand comes in, I clamp, I turn. There's my guide right there, there it is there, and here's my guide there in my hand. I turn, connect the dots, there's the dots, they are connected, trust it and cut it. So we come in and cut it. Now there was a day and time I would never have cut this way. I grew up tiny little sections. Things change, my friends. You have a choice. Keep doing what you're doing and get the same results. I don't know about you, but I choose to change. Say yes if you're with me. Yeah. Awesome. Good.